I'm Rebecca Fryer with Kingstonist News. Here's what's making headlines today, September 9th, 2022. Kingston police continue to ask motorists and pedestrians to avoid the intersection of Princess Street and Portsmouth Avenue in Kingston due to an ongoing incident. On September 9th, Kingston police confirmed that a suspect wanted from an assault on September 8th near the Kingston Center had been identified and located at a residence near the now closed intersection. As of 8 a.m. on September 9th, police said the incident was ongoing and reiterated the need for both motorists and pedestrians to avoid the area area, which had now been expanded to include Princess Street West to Sir John A. McDonald Boulevard and East to Taylor Kidd Boulevard. Portsmouth Avenue has also now been closed to the south at Glengarry Road and north at Fairview Road. Police say local traffic will be allowed to leave the area but cannot return until the incident is resolved. Overnight, police say an officer was struck by shrapnel from a bullet they believe was fired by the suspect during an attempted breach. Although police were not successful in their breach, they did say that the officer's injuries were minor and they were taken to hospital for treatment. Again, police reiterate that there is no danger to the public at this time and ask pedestrians and motorists to avoid the area until the situation has been resolved. On the heels of the news of the passing of the Queen of England yesterday, Kingstonist News learned of the passing of former City of Kingston Mayor Harvey Rosen. According to Jeff Coons, Rosen's executive assistant for seven years at City Hall, Rosen was courageously battling throat cancer and had become very sick before his passing. Rosen was also the former president of the Beth Israel Congregation and will be sorely missed by his many friends and loving family. As with tradition, the service for Rosen will be held at the Beth Israel Synagogue here in Kingston at 1 o'clock on Friday, September 9th, with burial taking place immediately following at the Beth Israel Cemetery, and it can be viewed on Zoom. The family asks in lieu of flowers that donations be made to the Kingston Regional Cancer Center. Rosen leaves behind a legacy that can literally be seen in Kingston with the current Leon Center, the redevelopment of Springer Market Square, and the expansion of John Counter Boulevard, just to name a few. You can read more about his exceptional life right now on our website. The United Way of KFLNA has set a lofty goal for this year's annual fundraising campaign of $3.8 million with the hope of at least matching, if not surpassing, last year's record amount of donations. In 2021, volunteers aimed to raise $3.6 million for the United Way to be able to fund existing and some new social aid programs right here in the Limestone City. Despite the community still reeling and dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic and all of its fallout, volunteers smashed last year's goal and raised more than 3.8 million for the local charity. So to learn more about how you can donate to this year's United Way campaign and to see how and where your donation dollars are used, read the article right now at Kingstonist.com. And lastly, why not celebrate your favorite foods and the farms they come from with Open Farms 2022 kicking off this weekend in Kingston and Frontenac County. Eight farms are taking part this year, offering unique experiences, including tours of fields, an introduction to the growing of fruits and vegetables, grains and permaculture, animals, equipments, and of course, some delicious culinary experiences. Tickets are expected for most tours. Make sure that you get yours today and keep an eye out for tickets coming up to a swanky Open Farms 2022 Grand Finale happening on Sunday, October 2nd in Springer Market Square. For more on these stories and other headlines or to submit your own news, visit kingstonist.com and become a subscriber today. I'm Rebecca Fryer. Have a great one, Kingston.